Now, obviously, I don't need to tell you that Pandora is long overdue on Windows Phone 8, but all that matters is that the app is available now, and it's a very good starting point for what you get on Windows Phone 8. When you launch the app, you see it has the tiles showing you their most recent stations. Now, that's a nice little departure from what you typically see on iPhone or Android. But if you'd like to see the more traditional list, all you have to do is tap See All Stations, and it brings you through a list of all the stations that you've created on your device. When you go back and you start listening to a song, you just tap on it and it has the standard audio settings, dislike a song, like a song, play it, or skip to the next one. Now, uh, you might one thing you might notice about this is that there are no ads here, and that's because Microsoft and Pandora have reached a deal where they're going to make this app available ad-free for the remainder of 2013. So until December 31st, 2013, you will not hear, see or hear a single ad when playing Pandora on Windows Phone 8. And that's a great feature. Now, one limitation is that this is kind of like Pandora 1 because it's ad-free, but it's not completely because you're still limited to six skips per station. So you can't have unlimited skips like you can with the premium version. But when you're done playing that song, you can uh, tap the button in the bottom right corner and you can choose to share a track or share an entire station. So if I want to let people know that I'm listening to a really good song, which I am, uh, Seriously by Catch a Fire, you should listen to it if you haven't before. I can just tap that button and just like that, I've sent out a tweet announcing to people. Okay, I can also buy the song on Xbox Music or I can choose to bookmark it and access it at a later time. Aside from that, I can let it know that I'm tired of this track, even though I'm not at the moment. And aside from that, you'll notice that it has the option to pin this station. So I'll tap that, and when I go back to my home screen, I can get back to this station directly. I don't have to launch Pandora and then go to the station. I can get to this at any time just by tapping on that station and it'll go back there in Pandora. Very nice feature. It's been a long time Stop her It's almost as if this song knew that I was doing a video about how long it took for Pandora to come to Windows Phone 8. You can also set the actual Pandora app to be a live tile, and the great thing about that is that it takes up the whole screen and actually showed you the now playing information so you can always see the current song that's playing on Pandora and you can get back to the app very easily. It also has shuffle mode, so I can bring in songs from all the stations that I have, all of the yet yeah, the signals that I've sent Pandora in the past to let them know the type of songs that I want to hear. So that's another great way to listen to music. Or you can just browse by genres, different stations, or you can search for a station based on a song or artist. So I'll search for one of the great artists of our time, Mr. Justin Bieber. And then I will start playing a song and then, just like that, I've created a Justin Bieber station very, incredibly easily, obviously. But I'm, I'm not really a Justin Bieber fan. I'm just doing that for illustrative purposes, just so you can guys yeah. see how... But one cool thing is that if you're familiar with Kids Corner, which is basically the Windows Phone 8 version that limits the phone to make it safe for your children to borrow, you don't have to worry about them coming across some content that they shouldn't. If you access Pandora from Kids Corner, it automatically filters out all of the profane lyrics so you know all that nasty stuff that mom and dad like to listen to won't uh, come up when your kids are playing with your phone even though i'm happy pandora skipped out on the ads that you get when you use the free version in iphone or android there are a couple of things missing that i wish could have been there uh, for instance uh, in the I ios version there's a feed that you can follow to see what your friends are listening to and you can discover new songs that way that's kind of nice but it's sadly not available in the windows phone version you're also not getting lyrics to songs so maybe you're, you're not going to need them okay especially if you're someone who just listens for the sake of loving music but if you're someone who loves those features on pandora unfortunately they're not there yet but obviously this is just the first iteration of pandora on this phone 8 and after waiting so long to have it on here i'm sure mo most people would just be happy to be able to play songs without having to go to another device or use another app pandora is one of the most popular music playing apps for a reason it's very accurate in determining what you want to hear and finding songs that are similar to that type of music so it's good to see them make the jump to windows phone 8 and they've done some good things in here 
Aside from that, when you're in the main part of the section and you go to settings, you can go to advanced and you can trigger to have higher quality audio. I highly recommend this because it improves the sound quality whether you're on Wi-Fi or mobile. Uh, I might use up more of your data, but it's going to be worth it in the end because the music is going to sound a lot better, especially if you're using headphones. Also, be sure to have conserved battery on, otherwise your screen lock will be disabled and you'll consume more energy. But this is Andrew uh, from MobileBurn.com showing you Pandora on a Windows Phone 8 device. And it's very nice, so I'm going to shut off this iPhone so I can go back to listening to music on a very nice device on Nokia Lumina 920 and I'm gonna listen to some nice music talk to you guys later oh, 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 oh.